former mayor addresses the history of the Confederate flag in New Orleans and his role in removing it from a public building. It all happened just about 45 years ago, but today WDSU anchor Latanya Norton sat down with former mayor Moon Landrieu for a history lesson of sorts. I didn't even know the flag was in the chamber until I got elected and took my seat. The year was 1969. The Former Mayor Moon Landrieu was 36 years so old and an at-large member of the New Orleans City Council, full of social and racial justice theories, coming off six years of serving in the Louisiana House of Representatives, fighting segregation policies. That's when he says he noticed the Confederate flag inside the New Orleans City Council chambers. And I told them I'd like to get the flag out of the chamber. I didn't think it was serving as well. And only Philip Siasio kind of agreed with that. Other five members didn't. Without enough support, the flag stayed, stationed among others at every council meeting, until, says Landrew, Eddie Saper joined the council. The current former judge and legislator was new to politics back then. Like Landrew, he wanted the flag to go. So I said, I've been waiting all my life for you, man. Where have you been? I think both of us were from a younger generation. We didn't see any reason to perpetuate a, a cause that was lost and a cause that was not justified to start with, which was the perpetuation of slavery. Together with some supporting council members, Landrew and Saper had enough votes to remove the flag. On May 16, 1969, Saper filed a motion which reads, the only flag to be permanently stationed in the council chambers of City Hall shall be the flag of the United States. Why, after close to 100 years, are we still arguing about this thing. It's over with. Now let's get on to trying to correct the damage that was done rather than keep inflicting these insults on a minority population. From 1970 to 1978, Mayor Moon Landrieu desegregated city government and public facilities, appointing African Americans to top positions. Decades later, the debate continues in several places over the flag's meaning and message. I think I was absolutely right in what we did, but I didn't certainly do it with any sense of heroics. It was just something that had to be done. I still don't know who put it there. I know who removed it. On your side, Latanya Norton, WDSU News. After leaving office in 1978, Landrieu served as Secretary of the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD. He is the father of former U.S. Senator Mary Landrieu and the current mayor of New Orleans, Mitch Landrieu.